All right, challenge two here with the health pack. Trying to make this health pack grow, shrink back down. Grow, shrink back down. Sort of repetitive. This is really similar to what we did here with the alpha, but this time to make this grow, we're more interested in using the image X and image Y properties that we saw before. So let's give this a go here in object health. One way to do this is to give this object in its create event a variable. I'm just going to call it scale. And I'll say the scale of the object, I'm just going to keep track that it's 1. Now what I'm going to do in the step event is I'm going to make this scale value get bigger until it reaches a 2 and then send it back down to 1 again. Let's go to the step. Let's say scale is scale plus. Now it said to make it do it fast. So let's go for, that's pretty fast, 0.1. Remember, 30 times a second. So that's going to uh, that's gonna boot. Now I'm going to ask here if the scale, remember we're only supposed to get double the size. So if the scale goes bigger than 2, I'm going to put the scale back, whoops, all the way back down to 1 again. Now remember, scale on its own, this is just a variable that we made up. Okay, this doesn't actually do anything to the image itself. To actually get the image to change, we have to do image x scale. I'll set it to scale and image y scale. Set it to scale. So if you can picture this, scale starts off at 1. Scale is 1, scale is 1. As scale gets bigger, the x scale is set to the bigger number. The Y scale is set to that bigger number, and this thing's going to grow. When it gets above 2, back down to 1 again. Now, the little note, remember 2 is really 200%, so that's twice the size. All right, let's see if this works. Okay, not bad. Even if it's a little bit annoying there, at least you got it working. Now, the next part of the challenge which is a little bit trickier for a beginner is don't make this happen until I've clicked the object. Okay, so normally I just want the health pack sitting there and then when I click it, let this start to take place. Now, there's different ways to do it. Um, one way, which is almost a little bit of a cheater way, is you can actually make two different objects. You can make object health, which does nothing, and then you can make object health growing which does exactly what we just did here. When the player clicks on the regular health object that just sits there, it actually destroys itself and it makes the new health object that actually has the code to animate. Now, I'm going to avoid doing that way because that way is, that way is too easy for us. We're trying to practice our code here. So here's the logic I'm going to do instead. I'm going to do it all with just one object and in the create method I'm going to do what I did before. I'm just going to make a variable that controls whether or not I'm active or not. And active is going to mean whether I'm doing this growing and shrinking thing. So zero means I'm not doing anything. When I go to the step command here, I'm going to wrap all of this up inside an if. If active is one, which means I'm active. Then I get to run this code. Now you may have noticed I did not start out active, right? In the create method, I started out with my active being zero. And so I'm only going to do this stuff if I'm active. Now you probably guessed it right. I got to switch my active variable to one when the mouse is clicked on me. So I'll go to event, mouse, left pressed. And this is where I'll switch active to 1. Now, once it's 1, it's never going back to 0. I mean, you could make it go back to 0 with an alarm or something, but I'll leave it up to you if you want to try to do that. Now, should this all work nicely together? Probably. Click the button, change active to 1. Once active is 1, 
The if statement says, yep, that's good. We'll constantly be doing that inside of the step event. All right, let's test. Cross your fingers. It just sits there. Now I go for the big click and bam, super special. Awesome effects. Not bad. An effect's done with code, not done with the sprite strip. Okay, so if you got that, that's pretty good for beginner at this point. Okay, see you in the next video.